In addition to enhancing safety and communications for boots on the ground first responders, the Department of Homeland Security, Science and Technology's next generation first responder seeks to improve mission response time and increase operational effectiveness and capability. For a search and rescue scenario, decreasing response time means saving more lives faster. This can be accomplished in part by improving situational awareness for rescuers, thereby reducing their risk. Small commercial drones provide low-cost, high-capability sensor platforms. As part of Lincoln's sensor development for the Next Generation First Responder program, a technology prototype called SLED, signal location via exterior drone, has been developed to detect the presence of an active cell phone. Small drones provide numerous benefits, including high maneuverability and the ability to cover wide areas rapidly. These characteristics mean the drone can position itself for detecting difficult to sense signals. Obstructions may block signals from detection by personnel on the ground, but drones can fly to openings like windows and gaps in broken concrete for more ready detection. Post-disaster search and rescue offers many challenges. In this test scenario of a mass casualty rescue, simulated victims with cell phones are hidden within a 40-acre area. The objective is to detect, locate, and rescue as many people as possible in the shortest period of time. In the first phase of the scenario, SLED was deployed for a rapid wide area assessment. A single drone was able to scan the area for cell phone signals in less than 20 minutes. The drone provided real-time heat maps of cell phone activity. With the reduction in search area based on the location of cell phone signals, canine and human teams were able to rapidly home in on high probability locations. While unfamiliar with drones, the canine rescuers adapted to their presence in a matter of minutes. By narrowing the search focus, rescuers were able to perform a more thorough search where the chances of success were the highest. This saved time and reduced risk for both two- and four-legged responders. The Bluetooth Indoor Proximity System, or BLIPS, creates a network of electronic breadcrumbs which can operate in areas of disadvantaged communications. Developed at MIT Lincoln Laboratory, these tiny, lightweight, low-cost sensors can be carried or thrown into an environment to detect and locate Bluetooth-enabled devices belonging to responders or victims. In addition to detecting the presence of a cell phone and determining the approximate location, BLIPS allows for the exchange of data via an ad hoc mesh network. This allows the transmission of messages and images between command, rescuers, and victims. The Department of Homeland Security Science and Technology's Next Generation First Responder Program is being developed in partnership with boots on the ground responders from around the country, focusing current and emerging technology on immediate challenges opens the door to tangible, achievable results with the goal that by 2020, first responders will be significantly better protected, connected, and fully aware.